right, hey, this is John with Draco Broadcast today, um, and we're going to be talking about MagicQ teleprompters, specifically how to use your MagicQ software with your MagicQ Studio Series or Presidential Series prompter. So let's dive right in. Uh, here I'm using a Mac computer, and um, what we're going to do is we're going to start by opening up our MagicQ software. And it should pop right open, and it's going to load this default script that's right here. It's MagicQ is a brand new line of professional trade, you know, teleprompters. Okay, so what we need to do is set up our displays to ensure that our teleprompter is plugged in properly to our computer. So we're going to open up our system preferences right here, and we're going to click on displays. Now, what we'll have in the middle is a tab called arrangement and it's going to show that yes we are properly plugged in to our monitor uh, our prompter monitor that our monitor is turned on and that it is receiving signal on the right input so this right here is our mac okay and this one over here is our teleprompter right we have them all set up and what we're going to want to make sure is that the displays are extended and not mirrored. So we have a checkbox here that says mirror displays. You're going to want to make sure that that is unchecked. All right. So once you see both of your, your monitors here side by side, you've got your, your computer and your prompter, then you're going to make sure this is unchecked. And once you're done with that, you're ready to go on to the next step. As a side note here, the way that this arrangement shows is where your prompter is uh, virtually in relationship to your computer right here. So if I were to mouse over to this left side of the screen and jump off the edge here, I'm going to land over on my teleprompter, right? So if I go over here, it's going to put me on my teleprompter off to the left. All right. We're going to go ahead and close that, and we are back to our teleprompter. So here is the Magic Q window. Now, this first window that pops up is called your operator window. Your operator window has all of your controls down the left-hand side over here. Uh, you have your prompt start button, your invert scroll direction, your importing text and editing your script, um, as well as other settings for how the script appears. Everything from line spacing like so, so you can drag your lines out, or text size. So if you need to make your text bigger and spaced out some more, uh, if your talent is a little further away, you can do that. You can simply drag it back down to get it back to a more comfortable size. Uh, you have all sorts of different options here, like your eye line right here. Use this eye line to make sure that it's lined up with the lens of the camera. Uh, so that it looks like your talent's eyes are looking straight into the camera as they're reading. So you're going to want to set your eye line to the uh, height of the lens of the camera. All right. Once you have everything set up that way, now we need to click this button here. It's called Show Talent Window. And that's going to open up a duplicate script. Okay, so what we have here is the operator window right here, and we have the talent window, which is the same as the operator window, except that it doesn't have a control panel down the left-hand side. This window right here uh, will live in your teleprompter, and uh, this one will stay over here on your desktop. So we need to go ahead and manually move the talent window over into the prompter and then size it so that it fits whatever uh, prompter monitor you have. And so the way that you do that, if you remember our arrangement of where our prompter is virtually uh, in relation to the, the desktop, we're going to drag it over to the left and we should see it appear over on our MagicQ window. So you might see just by dragging it around that it is either too big or too small. It's not full screen, and that's okay. What we're going to go ahead and do is size this to fit our window just the right way. So the easiest way to do this is you're going to click it and drag it over to the upper right-hand corner of the screen here. You probably also notice that the text is backwards, and we'll fix that in just a second, too. Uh, but let's just go ahead and get this window placed in the right, the upper right-hand corner of the screen. Okay, great. So now that we've done that, we're going to go ahead and come back over to the operator window. right? And we're going to resize our talent window by resizing the operator window. And to do that, 
you're going to go ahead and click and drag this right hand corner of the operator window that's right here. Now you notice that your talent window is changing sizes and it's because the talent window is the size is tied to the size of the operator window and that's to ensure that the talent and the operator always see the exact same script and that nobody's thrown off anywhere so you uh, you're so your talent window is going to take a little bit of fine tuning on your end to get exactly right and into full screen uh, but just a little bit of clicking and dragging should do it for you Okay, great. So once you're there, we're going to go ahead and flip your text over so that it's uh, mirrored properly. And to do that, you're going to come over to your three blue buttons. And right underneath this one that says Hide Talent Window, you're going to see a small checkbox that says Mirror Talent Window. We're going to go ahead and check it. And there we go. So now your text is all lined up, mirrored correctly, sized correctly, and you are ready to begin prompting. So once you're ready to go, you're just going to hit this green button up here that says Start Prompting. It's going to load your script up, and you're going to be all set to begin. Once you've pressed your Start Prompting button, most of your display controls have disappeared, and now your Start Prompting button has turned into a Stop button. And you can just use the up and down keys on your keyboard, or you can use your mouse to gently start scrolling your text. Now as you go, your elapsed time is going to start ticking up and your total time for the entire script is going to show uh, down here in the lower left hand corners. Now we're going to show you one more thing. Let's go ahead and click stop prompting and your controls are back but what you probably noticed is that your talent monitor has unmirrored. So that's nothing to worry about. Every time you stop the prompter, it's going to go ahead and unmirror that talent window. Uh, next time you want to start prompting again, go ahead and just click the box. It'll reload your script mirrored, and you'll be ready to get started again. Same way, we just click the button, and we can begin prompting again. All right, so that is how you set up and use your MagicQ software using uh, OS X on Mac. Um, if you have any questions for us that we didn't cover in this video, of course, feel free to call our office at 408-229-9222. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you next time.